Hello, and welcome, fellow curious minds, to an exciting exploration of one of biology's fundamental cornerstones, binomial nomenclature. Today, we embark on a captivating journey through the world of scientific names. Have you ever wondered why animals and plants have such unique names in the world of science? Or how scientists manage to make sense of the incredible diversity of life on Earth? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll not only define what binomial nomenclature is but also dive deep into the fascinating process of how scientific names are determined. We'll explore the rules, conventions, and the importance of this universal language in the realm of biology. So, whether you're a student looking to deepen your understanding of biology, a nature enthusiast intrigued by the world around us, or simply someone with a curious mind, this video is designed to unravel the mysteries of binomial nomenclature. Are you ready to embark on this educational journey with us? Let's start by understanding the very essence of binomial nomenclature and why it matters. Binomial nomenclature is a systematic naming convention used in biology to give each species of organism a unique two-part scientific name. This naming system was developed by the Swedish botanist and biologist Carl Linnaeus in the 18th century and is sometimes referred to as Linnaean taxonomy, in his honor. In binomial nomenclature, each species is assigned a two-part scientific name. The first part is the genus name, capitalized, and the second part is the species name, in lower case. Scientific names are typically in Latin or Latinized forms. This choice of language ensures that scientists from different countries and linguistic backgrounds can use the same names, promoting consistency and avoiding confusion. Scientific names are chosen carefully to reflect certain characteristics or relationships of the organism. Binomial nomenclature is part of a broader hierarchical system of biological classification, which includes categories like kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. The use of standardized naming conventions, as established by the International Code of Nomenclature, ensures that scientific names remain consistent and can be understood worldwide. This consistency is essential for scientific communication and research. Scientists begin by observing and studying the characteristics and traits of an organism they want to name. This includes physical features, behavior, habitat, and genetic information. These observations provide essential data for naming a broader group known as a genus based on its shared characteristics with other related species. The genus represents a higher taxonomic rank in the hierarchy of classification. The species being named is distinguished from other species within the same genus by specific characteristics. This distinctiveness is crucial to ensure that each species has a unique scientific name. Naming follows specific rules and conventions set forth by the International Code of Nomenclature for Algae, Fungi, and Plants, ICN, for Plants and the International Code of Zoological Nomenclature, ICZN, 
for animals. These codes govern the formation and use of scientific names. We appreciate you watching our video. Please hit the bell button, subscribe, and like to receive updates of new wild animal sightings.